we start with the puzzle. A skateboard on a level road will not roll on forever. Why is that? The solution will be given near the end of the video. this nothing nerdy video on Newton's first law of motion. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. It introduces you to the idea of translation equilibrium and why this applies to bodies which are not feeling any force. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Here is the definition of translational equilibrium. Translation here means movement in a straight line. Equilibrium is telling us that the sum of all the forces acting on an object is zero. There may be several forces, but the important thing is that their total effect when they are added as vectors is zero force. This means that the object does not accelerate. It does not mean necessarily that the object is standing still, rather it has a constant speed in one direction. For example, the skier is pulled downhill by a component of his weight, and his motion is resisted by drag and friction. The total force is zero, so he does not accelerate. Isaac Newton put this idea into one of his three famous laws of motion. Unless there is an unbalanced external force, a body will continue moving in a straight line. Or it will continue to stand still, which is a special case of movement in a straight line, where its velocity is zero. Newton's first law gives us a definition for force, something which changes a body's velocity. To look at it the other way round, if an object is seen to be travelling at a constant speed in a straight line, we can deduce that the vector sum of forces acting on it is zero. Consider two situations of moving bodies. The first is a satellite orbiting the Earth following a circular path at a constant speed. The second situation is a body falling to the Earth at terminal speed. Is either of these bodies in translational equilibrium? First of all, the satellite is travelling at an unchanging speed, but its path is a circle. That means it is constantly changing direction and is therefore accelerating. We can deduce that there must be a force acting on it, pulling it towards the centre of the Earth. Therefore, the satellite does not have a translational equilibrium. It is experiencing an un external, unbalanced force. The second example was a falling skydiver with terminal speed. He is being pulled downwards by the force of his weight, and that motion is being resisted by an equal and opposite upward force. The speed is constant, called terminal speed. There is no acceleration because the net force is zero. Therefore, the falling body is in translational equilibrium. So a mass can only change its velocity if a force acts on it. Without an unbalanced force, you cannot change its speed or its direction of motion. This property of an object to keep on moving or standing still is called inertia. All masses have inertia, and the more mass of an object is, the greater its inertia. In this question, we're interested in the resultant force and we're not interested in the individual forces, whether up or down or horizontally, which act on the ice. We know it's travelling at a constant velocity, so Newton's first law tells us that there are no total forces acting on it, so answer is A. Here is the question we asked at the start. The skateboard will stop because of the action of an external force. Otherwise, according to Newton's first law, it would continue forever. The force which stops it could be friction, or an interaction with another object. 